What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the watch list. I know it's been a few days, but right now we got a lot to cover, so let's go on ahead and cue the intro. I've been getting dirty money. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm always I'm putting out at least one video a week, giving you guys absolutely free content that's gonna help you guys, whether it's long term, short term, just in finance and, and everything like that. So with that being said, let's jump back to the video. What's going on guys? Um, I got a few stocks up here. Um, one I am currently in, I alerted it, Amazon. I am down roughly about 30% on this one. I did buy closer to in the money on this swing. Um, you guys can see exactly where I entered when it was at price. Um, at the top, I was up for a little bit on this one and then it came tumbling back down. I do believe that this one is going to run back up. So I am holding this swing um, again. I've done well enough on swings that I can let one go to zero and it's not as big of a deal because they end up making money overall as long as I'm over 80% accurate. I've been well over 80% accurate this year and it's made me a ton of money. So with that being said, SPY has hit as close to all time highs. We are right there about a dollar away, actually a little less than a dollar away now here after hours. Um, I do think that we are in the possibility of hitting all time highs tomorrow. So be aware of that. And then again, when this normally happens, guys, be aware or girls that they hit and then they fall down. So you guys got to be aware of that. And that's where I'm going to talk more about that here in a couple minutes and a couple of the other plays. Activision is one that I'm thinking buying calls. Again, the strategy just confirmed. So tomorrow I'm looking at it. Again, I would want it to fall just a little bit in order to get a good entry. Of course, I like buying when it's down, selling when it's up, collecting profit. That's just what I do. Again, I have an exact strategy that tells me, though, when to enter and all of that. JD, JD.com here. This one is not confirmed. But again, we hit all-time highs and it's cranked all the way down. It found some support and now it's broke through it. Um, again, I'm not a support. I'm not a support and resistance trader. This is just what I see out of the basics of it. Um, my strategy is telling me puts on this play. Again, I would like it to get back up to that $85 range and then be able to buy puts on it and push it down. I go at least two weeks out on all of these plays at least. Um, Peton, um, also known as Peloton, a lot of people have made a lot of money on this play this year. Again, they hit highs, um, 10, 12. Now, here we are. Again, they just keep downtrending now. They try to push all the way back up. Got to $139 short, almost $10 short of the all-time highs. It almost hit 140 few months ago and now it started downtrending again i do think that this one now that christmas has happened and people are going to of course keep on buying these pelotons um not only do you have all of that as a catalyst but my strategy is also telling me again if you guys want to learn my strategy dm me on instagram message me on discord i answer to everybody if you guys have questions i respond to everybody this one i believe is going to start going up i can see this one in the 120s at least so i'm probably going to be buying a 120 call on this one in the next day or so again i would like for it to fall back just a little bit and get under get underneath of this low might not happen may just go and retest it and then i would like to buy a call on this one so the other two that i have confirmed um this one tlt puts i'm not buying this one just because of how far down it already is could it go further and test down into this 155 level yes but that's only give me about a dollar and a half so i'm not really excited about that one that's not enough room for me to really make money and be happy with that one so that's one i am going to pass on but i do think that it's going to continue to fall it's got a solid downtrend this may be the one that i miss out on again that happens if i do play it it will be very very small this is the one that I actually like a lot. Netflix calls. Netflix actually bumped up the price again of their subscription. They have a great subscription business. If you don't know who Netflix is, you're living in a hole. Um, get somebody's out there. I guarantee you, you know a friend that has Netflix. 
bum it off of them for a night, watch it, and then give it back and never pay for it again. That's my personal opinion. But I do believe Netflix is going to go back up. I can see this one testing again around the 515 area. I'm not saying that this one's going to get all the way back up to 520, but I can see this one back up into the 515 area for sure. And then when it comes down to, again, we already talked about the Amazon one. Those are the plays that I am actually looking for for the rest of this week and possibly going into Monday. Again, on Sunday night, I will drop the free watch list once again, giving you a little bit more of an update on these. The market is at all-time highs. Don't be surprised if we hit all-time highs tomorrow on a Thursday and then we fall and kind of sell off on a Friday. Don't be surprised by that. Or we could run the rest of the week because of all the vaccination news and everything like that going on. This market is crazier than a normal market. I want you all to be aware of that. So that being said, good luck to everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to direct message me, DM me, personal message, however you call it, and I will help you. Thank